We're David and Sarah. At the end of 2021, we packed up our lavish Aussie lives into four suitcases to do a two-year working holiday in Canada. The awesome sights and experiences you're about to witness are the result of two people prioritizing fun, adventure, and each other over financial security, career goals, and social ideals. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming adventures. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome to Australia. Today, we're gonna do a little hike up the hill. It's a small little hike, but what we do wanna show you up here is the views. It's very pretty. It's called the Glasshouse Mountains. If you ever come to Australia, definitely check out this place. It's really um, pretty, but it does make us miss the Canadian mountains a lot. I would say this is us getting ready for the... But, this is nothing compared to that. Usually, we like to climb to Brigogan. You should Google it. It's not too high, but it is a climb. So you do use your hands and feet. That's the hike that we usually like to do here in the Glasshouse Mountains. Um, but we didn't have a lot of time today. So we thought we'd do this one. No bears here. It's just snakes, possibly. How are you going? <laughs> Easy, moderate, or hard? We're a little bit out of shape. We're out of shape, for sure. But let's just blame it on the climate change. Yeah. Because we've been in snow for the last six months. Yeah. It's pretty hot. So what I was saying before was we usually climb that mountain. And it's called Tipagogan. And it's usually like hands and feet. You climb all the way up. You can't really walk up that one. And this one's more of like a walk. Usually in Canada. Our water would be nice and cold. Here it's like warm. But yeah, enjoy the Aussie, the Aussie views. It was really nice to meet some people that are much older than us, that, are, that have the same mindset as us sometimes. I know I feel a little bit like, huh, are we doing the right thing? Like, you know, just spending our money on travels and like we love it so much. But sometimes you, you think, hmm, 
everyone else has a plan and a financial plan and all these things and you don't have that like not that we haven't thought a about retirement it retirement plan when yeah you're 25. We've, we've definitely thought about that stuff but we just know that it's not a priority in our lives and we don't want to focus our lives on money but it's good that you you can't work around and then you earn the money and then yeah. You, yeah i think that's the best yeah yeah, mm. yeah. You know, i encourage everyone because they yeah. do that yeah. yeah because the the um the experience you gain is is priceless it's yeah. definitely, definitely priceless yeah we yeah. like to step out in faith and just kind of live our life the way god wants us to live it and let him kind of lead the way um we feel like it's better for us spiritually, our characters, personalities, everything. It brings out so much more in us. You get to see the world differently. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. but when you come back, after <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are, yeah, when yeah, you come back, different ideas. Yeah, <laughs> your parents wouldn't yeah. recognize you. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we question ourselves on what we're doing. Mainly me, probably. And then you meet people like that that are so much older than you, and their focus is also not money. And it encourages us, makes us feel motivated, makes us feel like we are on the right track. Like we're not crazy. Like we're not crazy. They're like, do it while you're young. Well, do it while you can. That's yeah. all I can say. <laughs> you know, you only live once. You're on the right track. Like a lot of people are closed minded. And See, yeah. people choose between when they finish school, college, uni, and all yeah. that. But it's like. Don't know what they're missing out on. So that was really nice. So that wasn't to say that like we rethink going on our trips, that's like our priority. We want to do it, we love to do it, it's what makes us happy. But yeah, I think what happens is if you're not doing what is normal to everyone else, you do question yourself. Yeah. And I think that's why it kind of spoke to us a little bit when those guys were just out of the blue, random, we don't even talk to people a lot, but like this conversation, it was just Non-stop. Like, Non-stop. The lady just started questioning Yeah, us. she was, the guy was just like, what are you doing later today? And then it was just like, bam, keep traveling. Because you're so close. Yeah, we wanted to go to Alaska. Yeah, that we would be. We want to go everywhere though. So yeah. Go everywhere <laughs> your age, of course. Yeah. And they're much older than us and they've been to like everywhere. We started doing it when uh, in uh, 2000, the year 2000. Yeah. yeah. That's where we met, when yeah. we met. Oh, nice. Um, and then we have been traveling every year. Wow. Except COVID hits. Yeah. Yes. And that, that stopped us. Everywhere, yeah. even Antarctica, like everywhere. So that was encouraging for us. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed that footage. We'll close out the vlog here. It's a little short one today, but we just thought we'd take you guys along to see the views mainly, not really the hike because it's not very scenic. So it was mainly just to see the drone footage and the views at the top. But Gun Gun is, if you're visiting, it's a good uh, effort to reward ratio. You do get a good view at the top and it's only about a 20 minute hike. It's not that hard. I know I looked dead. I still look dead. But that's just because I'm out of shape. It's really easy. And yeah, yeah. pretty good hike. Well, enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Bye. Oh. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Share. Subscribe.